if someone has a basic level of knowledge of tendons, they will know that tendons are strong and they are strong because of the collagens within them. The collagens are what provide the structural integrity of the tendon and it lets you transmit force from the muscle to the bone. But is that all that's going on in tendons? Is it all about the collagen? Uh, probably not. Look at this paper, Tendon Pathology, Have We Missed the First Step in the Development of Pathology? This was a viewpoint by Jill Cook and Hazel Screen. They started out the paper by saying end-stage tendon pathology is degenerative. But there is considerable debate about how we transition from normal tendon to degenerative pathology. If we take an example, let's say you overload the patellar tendon, you get pain. What is going on? The old way of looking at things would say that you have damaged the collagen within the fascicles. The collagen are what provide the structural strength of the tendon. You've overloaded them, they're damaged, and now you have to rehab by focusing on getting the collagens strong again. But that's not all that's going on. Tendon is not that simple. It's not just about the collagens and making the collagen stronger. If it was, you could use an analogy like a rope and say that you tug on the rope too much, you disrupt the rope, and now you have to heal the areas within. It's not that simple. This is because of the interfascicular matrix. Look at the fascicles and the area outside of the fascicles. This is the interfascicular matrix. It's a gel-like area. It's high in elastin, so it's elastic, and it's high in lubricin, so it lubricates. This area is thought to allow sliding and rotating of the fascicles, which protects them from getting overloaded. So if we look at the old way of you've disrupted the collagens and the cells around the collagens are what are sensing this and causing the pain, uh, that might not be happening because you're getting protection of overload on the fascicles. And this makes sense because if you look at the interfascicular matrix, it has about 10 times more cells and they're subjected to larger strains of tension, shear, and compression. So when you have a tendon pain, at least an initial tendon pain, it's probably from the cells within the interfascicular matrix, which are experiencing overload a lot easier and a lot more. So if we pair this up with the tendinopathy continuum, an acute overload on a tendon would disrupt the IFM. It's very easy to disrupt, but it's also very quick to recover. That is just like a reactive tendinopathy. It's very painful, but if you just offload a little bit, it will go away. That would be the IFM getting damaged and the IFM recovering. If you continue to overload the reactive tendon, now you're potentially tapping into the fascicular collagen and you are making a degenerative tendon. So practically, what can you do with this? If you have a degenerative or a reactive tendon, you're probably going to have an IFM that is overloaded. So how do you offload the IFM? You take away the energy storage activities. If it's the patellar tendon, jumping, landing, cutting, accelerating, decelerating, take those away if they're causing pain because they're probably causing overload on the IFM, which is all already overloaded. But how do you continue to work on the strength of the muscle and the strength of the tendon? You do that with the heavy isometrics with the heavy slow strength. Because you're not getting fast movements, you're not going to be overloading the IFM. You don't have to get fascicular sliding and rotating because it's not fast. The IFM will get a break when you do the heavy lifting exercises. But this also means if you want to get back to sport, if you want to get back to energy storage activities, you can't go straight from all all of the heavy strength stuff right back into sport because you haven't progressed this ability for the IFM to slide and rotate, which might have to be done in a progressive manner. This is just more support to use common sense in your rehab plan for a tendon. Hopefully that helps. Try it out. Enjoy.